So I just wanted to make a quick NFL News and Rumors video for you guys talking about the New York Jets uh, and Shaquille Griffin at this 2023 NFL offseason. So uh, here on the screen, I'm going to be showing you guys three tiny paragraphs here uh, from an article on uh, NFLTradeRumors.com. Uh, the link to this article will be down below in the description of this video if you want to check it out for yourself. But basically, it talks about uh, the, best fit, the best fits for Shaquille Griffin this offseason as he is currently still on the market at the time I'm recording this video. So um, as mentioned, are the New York Jets. I just want to go over um, basically the thought process around the Jets here, give my thoughts and opinions, and of course, you guys leave your thoughts down below. So uh, it says, New York Jets. Griffin didn't cross paths with Jets head coach Robert Sala in Seattle, but he would be a fit in that system as well since it comes from the same family. New York doesn't need starting art. New York doesn't need starting help at cornerback as defensive rookie of the year Sauce Gardner and veteran DJ Reed are one of the best duos in football. It's thin behind those two after that. Griffin would be a uh, Griffin would uh, would have to be willing to sign a cheap deal, but he'd be an upgrade for the Jets depth and give Sala some peace of mind in case of injury. So uh, a bit of a different look at this in regards to the Jets where um, cornerback is actually a strength for them, right? Sauce Gardner is probably the best cornerback in the league. Uh, DJ Reed's a nice compliment to him. So uh, Shaquille Griffin doesn't really solve a positional need for this Jets or for this Jets defense. Uh, it would more so just be depth and more of a backup option. But at this point, could that be entertaining to Shaquille Griffin? Maybe it does, right? Uh, I'm not really too sure if Shaquille Griffin wants to start and get the best contract or whatever the case may be, he wants to play for a championship caliber team. I'm not really too sure what he's valuing so far in free agency. I would assume that him and his family want the best deal possible. Uh, they want to go to a situation where he can play, he can make lots of money, and just be put in a position to, uh, to succeed. But maybe at this point, someone like Shaquille Griffin is just better off being a rotational piece, being a player that can be a backup in case Sauce Gardner gets injured, right? Because what if he does get injured? Well, then they're pretty screwed. So um, I think someone like Shaquille Griffin could definitely solve a need for them there in regards to a player that can fill in when needed, uh, be nice insurance in case of injury, just overall uh, be a good player that would fit into this uh, this defensive scheme pretty seamlessly. Now, um, as I sort of mentioned before with Shaquille Griffin, if he wants to go to a team where he can play more and maybe make a little bit more money, that place is probably not going to be the New York Jets organization. Uh, I think some other teams out there uh, have more of a shortage at cornerback um, and they could definitely use them. Maybe a team like the Los Angeles Rams, for example, could make sense. They come to mind right away. So that could be an option. But uh, yeah, if Shaquille Griffin wants to go to the New York Jets, uh, play with Robert Sala, uh, play behind someone like Sauce Gardner uh, and be a nice sort of injury replacement, he could probably find a pretty nice role in the Jets organization. But uh, if you're a Jets fan, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.